I would estimate that 80% of all of us in the Western world had their wisdom teeth removed as teenagers, me included, because we're growing too narrow. The dentist is not the bad guy here. That's the industry. Let's say the system is just outdated. We just have this protocol that if we see, oh, there's no space for your wisdom teeth, you need braces maybe, then we just take them out because it's easier later to get the teeth straight. It's also easier to remove them while you're growing up. However, you should never take them out while you're growing up because you need energy to grow up and doing a massive surgery unprepared even because that's the standard. You just go in surgery and literally get that teeth pulled out, ending up having huge swollen cheeks, look like Rocky Balboa, taking antibiotics and painkillers. That's it. That jawbone never really recovers because you're not in an anabolic healing state while you do it. You're more in a shock depleted state going into surgery as a teenager. Over time, the bone gets mushy and forms caves. That's why in layman's term, that's called a cavitation. Medically term would be FDOJ, fatty degenerative osteonecrotic jawbone. This is something you do not learn as a dentist in university. 80% of all of you guys that had their wisdom teeth pulled have this FDOJ, probably even 90%. Lurking in your jawbone as a chronic side information that doesn't even hurt.